Before Huger Hino could join the Predaking gang, he was asked a very important question about what do you get when you combine a cow, a duck, a piece of wood, and a rhino. Cow the duck wood rhino. It's finally here. Kang Toys 06, Huger Hino. Being a third party Transformer set, it's not officially licensed by Takara or Hasbro. But this has been an amazing wait for over a year and it's been worth it. Regardless if it's your first purchase or multiple, you will not be disappointed in what you're going to pick up with this Rhino. The red and orange and gold all again match with its ongoing color scheme that has been going from Ferocious 01 all the way to 06. I am blown away again constantly by the design choices of this overstylized look. Remember as well, that weight you're going to feel on this figure does come because of its die cast metal. But let's do some size comparisons. If this is your first Kane Toys Transformer, do not be scared by the sounds that you hear when you're moving its arms. That is normal. A ratchet joint does work the way that it's supposed to to give its added hold for what the weight it's supporting. You still have rotation at its bicep as well as its elbow, fantastic range of motion, and I do have a nice little uh, display for some hand. Take it away, Huger. Range of movement and articulation are one of the major points of me as a collector, and every one of these King Toys has delivered in every one of those aspects, and I cannot wait to see what its combined form is going to finally look at. Diecast metal in the chest ribcage, not only on its elbows as well, get a little bit of a close-up, but you also see it on the back and front of the knees. Hip certs and other parts on the side do have a bit of rotation and articulation. And again, I'm just amazed by the sheer range of movement that you can get out of these kinds of figures. I did have it asked a question about how do you stop a rhino from charging? And it was simple. You just unplug them. Rhino jokes aside, I really do love the feel of this robot in its animal mode. It almost got a beefy feel that I can throw in like a brick. It looks majestic almost regal-like, dangerous. One moment it can look like a terrifying animal. And then the next, it could present you with something pleasant, like a jar of jelly. I have really loved the amount of articulation I've gotten them in their animal modes. <sighs> Quick size comparison. Last but not least, its leg form, which impressively doesn't really take too much away from its animal mode, but still looks amazing in its own. And I cannot wait to see what it's going to look like in its final form. So why don't we take a quick little peek if we add some feet, shall we? Again, the painting, the sculpting, it is all phenomenal and every one of those pieces fit with each other. And I love that about every one of these King Transformers. To look at what has come from the very beginning, 01 Ferocious, all the way up here to 06 Huger Hino, is amazing. Speaking of, let's take a look at the box. Packaged inside, you're still going to be able to find a nice little New Year's Christmas gift, some instructions. Packaged safely inside, you're going to be able to find all of its accessories, swords, guns included. Getting the slippers off of this beautiful beast, we were able to get out two nice looking swords. A longer looking one, which will combine into a bigger. One nice little hand cannon. A wrist mounter for the combiner mode. And some replacement parts on the kneecaps. Instruction wise, we have your standard really nice looking booklet along with card. The final one. And the instructions do make sense if you give it some time. But watch videos on. blown away by the detail of what they were adding on for something that doesn't do anything with this particular figure. 
it being the rabbit Chinese New Year, you were able to give off in Chinese tradition at the beginning of said New Year a red packet for gifts meant to bring in some good nature to yourself and those. And I love again extra added detail that they put of Thunder King, a horrible, evil Predacon on this package that's meant to be for good fortune. Which again, I love that particular type of detail. Maybe at a thousand followers I might be able to send out a couple uh, fun little thank you gifts for all those coming on in. We'll see. Until then, still, thank you crew for watching. I also took a stab at the transformation recording sequence, so please let me know if you'd like to see more of this. If not, well, you get one. It's been a wild ride these last couple of months, not only in personal life, but here in the warehouse. We've had amazing releases. I've been very excited to share with you all more of what we've been able to enjoy from my life and my collection. Definitely more videos to look forward to, so please hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned on notifications. Yo tengo poder crew, and take a peek at what we have to look forward to. See you then.